August 16th. It'll mark 572 days since the last time I stepped foot in a wrestling ring. Holy smokes. Coincidentally, it'll be at the Mid Hudson Civic Center, the same location of my last wrestling match that I had, which was the main event marquee headline of the first and only ever 205 Live Cruiserweight Tour. And those guys, they were happy to be on tour, I gotta tell you. Otherwise, they would've been sitting at home with their thumb up their ass. Instead, they were getting money in their pockets. Why? Because I'm a businessman. Not a businessman, I'm a business man. And you know nothing about my business. Dave Meltzer, you couldn't lace my J's. That's because they're one of ones and they're made by Jordan. I'm the only wrestler with his own pair of Jordans. Why? Because I'm a star, okay? I know a star when I see a star and I didn't have to look through the humble telescope to tell you that, all right? It doesn't take Galileo to look at me and know that I'm the most charismatic, most entertaining superstar this business has seen in years, okay? If you smell, that was me, not the guy who said it. I'm the shit. I know you smell it. And the only thing louder than me is my resume. And women lie, men lie, numbers don't lie. You can look at the numbers, pal. The first day I was ever on TV, I went off script. Had that place lit, trending number one in the world. In 2017, I broke up with my tag team partner, Big Cass. We trended number one in the world, and we were the number one ratings draw on all of television in 2017. When we reunited at Madison Square Garden, it wasn't Bret Hart getting attacked at the Hall of Fame. It wasn't the WWE. It wasn't Ring of Honor. It wasn't New Japan. It wasn't the G1 Supercard. It wasn't March Madness or the Final Four trended number one worldwide. It was Enzo and Cass. The only thing real in this business is the money and the miles. And me. Well, Paul, we heard from Enzo, and here is his hand-selected opponent for his return to the ring tonight. A man whom he picked because of the respect he has for what his dad did in professional wrestling years ago. Brian Pillman Jr., an up-and-coming star in his own right. You can say that again because Brian Pillman Jr., forget about the fact that his dad was such a legend, on his own merits, he is such a rising star in professional wrestling, going all over the world to ply his trade and to improve. He has a great future. And his opponent, he stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighs in at 201 pounds. He comes to us from the 201. Please welcome back the real one, Enzo! Listen to this reaction, Paul. Some love him, some hate him, but you can't keep your eyes off this man, especially returning to the ring after a nearly two year absence in the same building where he left. January 2018, the last time he was in a wrestling ring and it was right here in this venue. But this is a very different Enzo than we've seen before. Usually he comes out, he's full of fire, energy, passion, wants to get the fans going. But this is not the Enzo we last saw. This is a very different guy. It's been a long, nearly two years for this man. He's had a lot of time to think, a lot of time to evolve. A lot's gone on in this man's life professionally, personally. But one thing is for sure, he still is a controversy magnet. And this return in and of itself, perhaps the most talked about aspect of tonight's blockbuster car. A lot of talk around the locker room, a lot of talk on social media. 
about this big return? I mean, whenever I told people I was going to be here, they said, what about Enzo? What's going on with him? So a lot of chatter about this one. But Brian Pillman Jr. is going to be undeterred. He's not going to worry about the hype surrounding this. I think he is going to take the fight to Enzo and then some. Well, Brian Pillman Jr., certainly a young man who seems to embrace some of the same qualities as his father, including not necessarily looking to abide by any rules, any standards of professionalism. He's his own man, he walks to the beat of his own drum, and perhaps that's what Enzo sees when he thinks of his dad and when he sees what he thinks of Brian Pillman Jr. I wouldn't exactly characterize Junior as a loose cannon, but he certainly has elements of unpredictability and aggression that his father had. Add that to the athleticism, the pedigree, the background, being trained by Lance Storm in professional wrestling, and you have all the elements for a great professional wrestler. It's just the fact of putting it together. And we heard comments from Enzo before this contest, the bell has rung. That means that nothing he says, no mouth running that he could do, none of that matters anymore. It's time for Enzo to show, prove, and back up what he's been saying, that he belongs back in a wrestling ring. Enzo also showing a different side of himself here, just a headlock takedown. That, that's not something he would usually go for this early in a contest, if at all. He would be wild sort of in there brawling, but showing a little more of a technical side to himself. A scrappy pit bull-like mentality in the past for Enzo. We'll see how he has changed his game. Nice takedown, fundamentally sound strategy from Enzo in the early going. You don't spend that many years training down in Florida with some of the greatest legends in all of professional wrestling and not pick up a thing or two. It's just maybe he thought he was above that all. Maybe he thought he was just such a big superstar that he could do things his own way. Now maybe changing his tune a little bit to show that he is a great technician in addition to everything else. And so on the move and runs into a hip toss. Brian Pillman Jr. able to outmaneuver Enzo and showcase that unbelievable athleticism that makes him such a raw success even in the very early stages of his career. Great fire shown by Pillman Jr. And he has been all over the United States already in such a young career. Not only is he a young man, but his career is very new and that's not what people realize. They think, hey, he's a Pillman. He's probably been around the block and then some, but no. He's still very young in his career, but so much potential. Enzo taking a beat to think things through. And we'll see if he has a plan B as Pillman goes to the headlock. I'm interested to see what kind of mind games Enzo attempts to play here at some point. Because you saw it there when he was talking before this match. There's still that vibrant, fiery side to him. That sort of cocky, arrogant side to him. But is he going to use that to his advantage? Is all of this technical work just a ploy? Pillman now using the same strategy that Enzo employed in the first moments of the match, trying to ground Enzo and maybe get back some of that momentum. It's been a year and a half since Enzo was last in a wrestling ring here in Poughkeepsie, New York. And he's someone who has been on record as saying, I'm still the cruiserweight champion. I never lost that title. And that is a very, very bold statement to make. Well, let's be honest, Paul. We talked before about David Arquette, his lack of respect in the pro wrestling world. I think in some ways, Enzo can relate because here's a man who was in the mix with some of the best technical wrestlers in the world and was not looked at as being on their level athletically. Is he here to prove those critics wrong tonight? If he is, he's not doing a great job of it so far. Pillman Jr., after that early flurry, was able to neutralize Enzo, and now he has him and is grinding away on the mat, but Enzo always full of tricks. 
But Pillman Jr., just too much of a raw athlete. A little bit of Hollywood blonde action from Pillman Jr. on the hop. Up goes Enzo, and Enzo, oh boy. I think his knee might have went out maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look good. But just like that, Enzo's comeback story may be over as soon as it began. The referee checking on him here, making sure he can continue. Hillman Jr. doing the right thing here. Uh, there Wait. it is. That's that, that's that tricks I was talking about. Right there, getting into Pillman's head and taking advantage. Creating an opportunity for himself come hell or high water. Enzo by Hooker Crook is going to find his advantage. And Pillman says, the heck with that. And you want to talk about getting in someone's head. Pillman living in Enzo's right now. Pillman refusing to back down in this battle of the mind games. And now the referee gonna force perhaps a break, but a slick move by Enzo. Looked like he went neck, maybe even head first over that top rope. And as you know, that is not just a bouncy little thing. That's a steel cable. And Enzo again using the advantage that was given to him, and now he's on top. Enzo's past his history, well documented. A man who comes from the streets has a street-like fight mentality. He's gonna find any advantage he can. And that's just insulting more than it is injuring your opponent. Oh boy! Death drop from the apron to the floor. And I was at ringside earlier walking around that mat I wouldn't exactly call it soft. A rough, rough landing for the son of Flying Brian. That was what could only be considered a crash. To the back of the head, to the neck. Fly, Brian Pillman Jr. is in a world of trouble right now, thanks to Enzo. That is a gruesome landing. Not only did his neck and head go across that top rope earlier, but now crashing onto that mat on the no! floor. Not a soft landing on that mat and not a soft landing on that guardrail. We asked the question earlier of whether Enzo was focused on proving his athleticism and technical ability. Perhaps not so much right now. Yeah, it's not looking good for Pillman Jr. here. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no man's land for Pillman Jr. Oh, God! Oh, God. No way to defend himself. Was that skull on steel, bone on steel, whatever it was, physically detrimental to say the least for this young man? Yeah, his head might have gone against that post, but for sure, from the angle we had, it looked like he went spine first. So either way, that is absolutely brutal damage done to Brian Pillman Jr. And I had Enzo counted out very early, but it looks like through that, he might get a count out here. And maybe that's good enough for Enzo on this night. He looks very, very content with what he has accomplished. Trying to drag his way back in and he does it, but the damage might have been too much. Pillman Jr. hanging tough. And Enzo now perhaps all the more enraged that this thing is continuing. We're seeing shades of the old Enzo here, but there is just a little more evil behind his intentions now. Before, he would just sort of be in there and kind of be, you know, animated, a character, if you will. But there is no playing around here. He is straight up beating Brian Pillman down. And Pillman left hanging. 
literally. He's got nowhere to go, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Oh! Just a vicious shot. No defense. Hey, you can attest to this. We've seen some great athleticism here, but there is no athleticism involved in there when you're doing something like that. That is brute force. That is knowing exactly where to place your fist and your forearm and all of the weight behind it with that sprint. That was vicious. And we've spoken several times tonight about several superstars making statements here this evening. Perhaps Enzo with the wrestling world watching him, looking to make a big statement, all at the hands of Brian Pillman Jr. Oh no! Goes to it once again, and even more devastating this time, given all the damage that's already been done to Pillman Jr. Enzo making that second go around across the top rope hurt even more. And can you believe what you're seeing with his attitude? I mean, this is just not, this is not a normal person. I mean, this is a much different side of Enzo. Almost feels like it's simply a game plan for him, something that he's been thinking about, dreaming about for weeks, maybe months, in preparation for his return to the ring. He's doing exactly what he wants to be doing, and he is being exactly who he wants to be. This is the real Enzo, and Brian Pillman Jr. may be shut down for good. Yeah, he might be out. That is not normal breathing you see from a competitor from Pillman. He, he might be out of it. Enzo almost spitefully soaking in whatever energy, positive or negative, he can from this capacity crowd. And where did that come from? Pillman gets the knee up, Enzo down, and this is why you cannot count Pillman Jr. out. Pillman Jr. still so young in his career. The refinement will come, the experience will come, but the guts, the heart, it's all here, and he has to lead on that if he wants to have any hope to get back into this fight. He's right back in this. I don't know how much Enzo has left. Probably a lot more than Pillman, but Pillman gets the opening he's needed, but Enzo out of the way. Enzo gets caught, and Pillman better hang on! Enzo down. And a super kick. He got just about all of it. Oh. That super kick looked like it went straight through the chin of Enzo, but somehow the man who calls himself the real one out at two. Almost a knockout blow, but Enzo still breathing, still kicking. Where do we go from here as Brian Pillman Jr. has fought his way back into the game? Shoulder tackles in the corner. Pillman gonna go high risk. It may be do or die time for Brian Pillman Jr. Can he take Enzo all the way down? Enzo holding on for dear life. Survival mode. Street instincts. Oh, he's raking the eyes. Changing the course of destiny once again. Enzo, where's he going? DDT! He calls that the DDG. And Brian Pillman Jr. survives what could be Enzo's hardest shot. Enzo coming from that top rope, hits the DDG as he calls it, only gets a two. Pillman again with that labored breathing, but somehow able to get the shoulder up. 
and now you can see that frustration coming into play from Enzo. And this is where we get to test Enzo's emotional stability here. We saw that contentment, that calm, that peacefulness earlier when he was in control. How is he going to react to this challenge, this frustration? Well, I think he's going to try that jaw done. Pillman felt it coming. Oh, almost took the match right there. Enzo back on the attack. He got it. Jaw done. And just like that, he's gone. It's gonna make a lot of people happy and a lot of people extremely angry. Like it or not, Enzo victorious in his return to pro wrestling here at Prison Break. But Paul, even bigger things on the horizon because we are just moments away from the richest prize in Northeast Wrestling about to be on the line in the most emotionally charged way possible.